Hi everybody, it's Mike Pock with Three Peaks Photography. I'm out on the eastern plains of Colorado on what is going to be a cold but hopefully clear night. And I'm going to be testing out the Move Shoot Move V bracket and Z bracket. So right now I have my Explorer EXP Pro tripod with the Benro three-way geared head, the MSM Allen Wallace Z plate, my Nomad Tracker, and my Explorer ball head. So I'm all bundled up, ready to go, waiting for some dark skies. So let's take a closer look at my setup. By now, if you've been using the Move Shoot Move Nomad, you should know how to set it up. If you don't, then check out one of my other videos that shows you how to do that. I'm using the Benro three-way geared head. I want to make sure that my adjustment knob for my declination and my rotating plate on the Nomad are pointing towards my alignment star. And to put on the V or the Z plates, take off the red ring and the plate. Then you take your V or your Z plate and attach it to the plate like so. And anytime when you're using a screw like this that has a slot in it, it's better to use a tool like this or a screwdriver or a coin to tighten it. Otherwise you won't get it very tight just using your fingers. Okay. Now I want to put my V plate on. Make sure the red ring is nice and tight. Loosen up the hinge. And then I can create a nice level surface for my ball head and my camera. And let me get my head. With this particular setup, I need to use the thread adapter for the screw on the V plate. So I'm going to put that into the bottom of the head. And I'm going to use my trusty screwdriver tool to tighten that up. Okay. Now I'm going to put this on here. And I shouldn't have thrown that away. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm going to need that. Make sure you get the threads in there properly. Alright. Uh, if you're turning the uh, knob to tighten the hinge and it interferes with any of your gear, you can reposition it by simply pulling it out and then putting it in a different place. Okay. Now I've got my head on there. I want that tool back. Where did it go? Uh, then I'm going to tighten this up with my screwdriver tool. Make sure that it is snug and secure. Okay, there you go. If I need to adjust the position of the V bracket or the Z bracket as the tracker is turning, I have this little knob here that allows me to make that adjustment. Okay, there you go. Once I have all of this secure, then of course my camera goes on top of the ball head. Just want to show you what the Z bracket looks like just has a extra platform and when you extend it out it looks like a Z thus the name has the same adjustment on uh, this platform that has the uh, compass direction on it and uh, levels on two surfaces and I also want to show you another tip so you notice that on my Z bracket, I have the long knobs for tightening the hinges. And this one has the original shorter knobs. So 
What I do recommend is if you have the short knobs that you should order the long ones from Move Shoot Move and it's very easy to swap these out. All you have to do is loosen this up until it comes off and then simply screw on the new one. That's it. The reason for the longer knob is to get more torque on the hinges to tighten them properly. There was an issue before using the shorter ones where you couldn't get quite tight enough to keep the V or Z plates from collapsing. And again, if you need to adjust the position of the knob, you just pull it out, pull it out like this, and then place it in a new position to avoid any interference issues. Now I'm going to show you the panorama that I created with this setup. The main reason to use a V or a Z bracket with your Nomad Tracker is for helping you create panoramas. It gives you a level surface to put your ball head and your camera onto and makes things a little bit easier when you're panning from one position to the next. This is a panorama that I created that night and it is a stitch of actually two panoramas, one untracked for the foreground and one tracked for the sky. The exposures were two minutes long for both cases and 16 frames total. So eight vertical shots for the sky, eight vertical shots for the foreground. And for each position I was in, when I panned to the next position, I would take a track shot and then turn off the tracker and then take the shot for the foreground, the untracked shot. So these were blended together inside of uh, Photoshop and uh, I think this turned out pretty well. One thing that I do recommend is that if you are going to be using the V or the Z plate that you use it when you don't have any wind. So if it's windy outside, that vibration will transfer into the bracket and result in getting you images with trailing in your stars. And that's definitely something you don't want. So if it is windy, I recommend that you don't use those brackets that you just try connecting your ball head and camera directly to the tracker. Also, I do recommend that you weigh down your tripod with a stone bag or bungee cords or something like that just to keep the vibrations to a minimum. So the next time you're out under the stars, you might try adding a V or a Z bracket so that you can do a panorama and see if you can get something like this.